in the previous video we saw what inferentia 2 ec2 instance is and how it differs from inferentia 1 instance just to recap inferentia instances are geared towards deep learning models and are instrumental in providing a tooling for generative ai in this video i am going to deploy a deep learning model or in other words i am going to show you how to integrate aws neuron sdk into aws inferentia 2 instances and then we will see how to configure and install and then use pytorch machine learning framework the neuron sdk from aws includes a compiler runtime and profiling tools and is constantly being updated with new features so in this example to be exact we will be compiling and deploying a pre-trained bird model from hugging face on an ec2 intra2 instance using the available pytorch neuron package pytorch neuron is based on pytorch xla software package and enables the conversion of pytorch operations to aws inferentia to instructions so the first step here is to launch your infra uh, or inferentia 2 instance in ec2 AWS says that it's generally available, but I couldn't find it in Sydney region. So I am in North Virginia region. And then from there, you need to select the instance type. Once you click on instance type, you need to go to inf2, which will narrow it down to all the four types of inferentia 2 EC2 instance. I don't go for the 48x large, it will be way too expensive. You can select INF2x large, which has four CPU and 16 gigabit of memory which is still a bit expensive but we can uh, you can run your model the bird model on top of it will be built slow but that would do the purpose anyway so the first step in this exercise is to launch an ec2 instance with the type inf2.xlar once that's done and provision the rest of the steps are fine it's a usual linux instance and as you can see i have selected the amazon linux 2023 ami and AWS Neuron SDK is already natively integrated with that. Once that's done, let's check the next steps. So again, we are assuming that you have already done the first step and launch the EC2 instance there in your whatever region is available as per your requirement. And once that's done, the next step is to sort the AWS Neuron package. So you need to SSH into your INF2 instance and activate a Python virtual environment that includes the PyTorch neuron packet as mentioned from step 9 to 11. Uh, sorry, as mentioned step number 5. Once that's done, with you need to compile your PyTorch model into an AWS neuron optimized torch script. So for that, you need to import the packages from line number 9 to 11. We're importing torch and transformer and torch neuron x from transformer and then in the fourth step from line number 15 to 17 we are building the tokenizer and model so once that's done you can test the model with example input so in order to test your model you just need to write this encode function and pass the above tokenizer and the inputs and with you can go with the batch default size one and max length 128. So it will just use a tokenizers function and code plus with all of these parameters. And then we will return you some of the coordinates as per this input from line number 36 to 38. And then basically what it is doing is, is telling us whether the, whether these sentences are paraphrase of each other or no, or in other words, whether they are related or not, which is, basically these text oriented models do in terms of generative ai so as you can see with just 38 lines of code we can train our model on this i inferentia 2 instances in the subsequent videos i'm going to also train few other models with more lines of code so please stay tuned and um, for these commands don't worry about them i will put a link to the document where i got these commands which is an aws document so you don't have to type it by yourself you can just go to that document and get the commands from there
I hope this was interesting and you can appreciate how easy it is and it will become easier with the passage of time to train and build your own custom models. If you have any feedback or comments, please put them down below the video. Thanks.